Welcome to our five on five. Please be joined today by Tony Johnson. We're talking about the 42nd annual Rogue Valley Railroad Show kicking off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can't believe we're already after Thanksgiving, Tony. It's good to see you. Good seeing you again. Good. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, it's an annual tradition, just yeah. like here, maybe yeah. not 42 years, but yeah. it's, it's pretty good, this interview that we get to do. So in case anybody hasn't been to this big railroad show, what can they expect? Okay, it's, uh, well, first of all, the railroad show is the fundraiser for the railroad park. It's the one fundraiser we do every year, and that's uh, how we keep the railroad park free of charge when people come there. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically to get everybody to enjoy the railroad hobby, you know, whether it's model train layouts, which there's going to be about a dozen model train layouts, operating layouts, um, vendors uh, selling railroad books, t-shirts, train sets, so on, um, historical society, uh, you know, with uh, railroad artifacts, uh, the genealogy society can help provide information if, you know, gee, my grandpa worked for Southern Pacific, you know, mm. uh, where do I go? And uh, so it's it's really a wide range and it's, you know, it's the biggest railroad show, uh, you know, in Southern Oregon. Yeah, and, and there are a lot of clubs um, that operate the Medford Railroad Park and are involved with this. Right. How, how yeah. many are there? There's four, four railroad okay. clubs in the park and it's the only railroad park in the United States that has four clubs that operate it together. Yeah. And uh, we just celebrated our 39th year. So, Amazing. So the railroad show is actually older than the park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty cool. Now, now these are not just, I mean, the clubs may be local, but people right. who are coming to this to this uh, railroad show are from all over the area, correct? Right, right, yeah. We, I can't remember, but I believe uh, we have one coming down from Portland this year, and of course, um, you know, the local ones like White City and, you know, I think Roseburg. And uh, um, so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's well it, it changes from year to year. Yeah, and you mentioned, uh, I think you kind of mentioned the exhibitors, because obviously there's a lot of cool stuff that, that you know, kids and, and kids at heart enjoy uh, right. but there's a lot of a lot of great stuff yeah. like holiday buying it is black friday after well, all yeah. well, the rogue valley <laughs> is unique because uh, we have three exhibitors there that are not nationally known but internationally known model railroad manufacturers and they're all located here in the rogue valley hmm. so uh you know we're talking about uh, uh jobs you know they, we got local jobs here through these big companies and uh, so it's nice to talk to in a sense, the owners of these companies and uh, find out what their new products are. And, and they'll be glad to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll talk more about the big show coming okay. up at the Expo this weekend. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, here with Tony Johnson. We're talking about the 42nd annual Rogue Valley Railroad Show coming up tomorrow and Sunday here at the uh, Jackson County Expo in Central Point. Mm -hmm. Thanks for taking the time. I know how busy you guys are in prepping this thing. Uh, I mentioned it's at the Expo. What are the hours this weekend? Uh, okay, Saturday it's from 10 to 5, and Sunday it's from 10 to 4. And uh, the price of the admission is pretty cheap. It's uh, $5 for adults, uh, children 6 to 12, $1 and five and under is free with a paid adult. It's been that way for a long time. You know, we're not trying to make a whole bunch of money out of here, but uh, on the other hand, what we do make does go directly to the maintain and operate the railroad park. Yeah, and you, you, you mentioned it, I think, in part one of the interview, that Medford Railroad Park that so many Rogue Valley locals love and enjoy is free in, in I think, April, October, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And, and it's been going on for nearly four decades. Yeah, we had about 33,000 people come to the park uh, this year, you know, and uh, that's just 14 Sundays. And yeah. uh, so the park gets utilized, and uh, so it's, it's, it's a... It's fun watching people having a good time and they don't have to spend a dime. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a wonderful thing. Well, I yeah. appreciate you breaking it down and I know how busy, as I mentioned, you are today. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Thanks okay. very much. Thank you very much. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.